<laughs> so I'm here in the Basque country, and it's my first time in Basque country, and I have this hat here for the Gura trial, and I've been talking to some of the Basque people, they've been telling me a lot of stuff about, about the history here, and it's very interesting. But I'm with uh, Benyat from Dima Whistles, and I, I've seen Benyat a lot on Facebook a couple of years ago, but it's lovely to actually meet him. So uh, I'll just introduce you to him now, and he'll tell us a little bit about how we got started doing whistles and uh, a little bit about Basque country too, maybe in tradition here. So Benyat, how did you get started making whistles in the first place? About six years ago, or five years ago, uh, one of my dogs um, chewed my own, my, my unique whistle. Uh, it took, uh, I spent like uh, 21 pounds uh, with the shipping cost and everything, yes. And I thought uh, the whistle don't, uh, didn't deserve to to buy another the same yes. because they, they were like too weak. Yeah, uh, I was made of thin, uh, thin stainless steel or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and the dog chewed it, so I, I couldn't fix it uh, again. It was a, a market yes. with the teeth of the dog, so I decided to to, make, to try have a try and and, and make a new one. And I, I made uh, some different, with the same shape, uh, the half moon, the typical Acme yes. whistle. And, but they, they were not sounding like, like the one I had, uh, the first I had. So yes. uh, I tried to make it in different materials until I get uh, a good piece of uh, thick uh, stainless steel. And uh, instead of bending, Yes. I decided to cut uh, from the middle. Oh, so there's no folding, it's just yeah, because, a solid piece. Because when you bend the metal, uh, it gets um, like um, like um, it's easily bendable again. Yes. So uh, I decided not to bend. Yeah. Just to cut uh, a big piece of a thick piece of stainless steel. Yes. So it could be more resistant to my chewing dog. Yes. Yes. So and I tried to, to do this way, and I got a nice and a really nice whistle. But that's what I want to ask you about because it's easy to cut out a shape and put a hole in it, but how do you get it sound right? Because every whistle you make is handmade, like so. Surely there's a bit of variation. Yeah, it's a lot of practice needed for yeah. that. But a lot of uh, mistakes. Yeah, a lot of mistakes. <laughs> it's uh, not only matters the, the the hole, the diameter of the hole, but uh, the, also the gap yes. matters. Oh yeah, the gap between the gap. Yeah, yeah. and the, the the form that has uh, you see that some of them have, have like a rounded rounded form. Yeah. Um, uh, surrounding the hole, I I made the form straight, yes. like in the con uh, in the con form. Yes. And I uh, I decided not to make the rounded one, and I control um, um, this way. I think I control the pitch of the of the of the whistle. Yes. Playing also with the gap. Yes. But uh, playing with both, I I um, I think I got I got. Uh, a system to do three different, different type of, types of whistles. Yes. The other thing I see you do sometimes is change the size of the diameter of the hole or maybe put two holes yeah, in it. Yeah. What, if, if I see somebody with a whistle with two holes in it, is it better, is it louder or what's the difference? It's not, not better, it's just better. It's when you need, uh, the principle is like, uh, the logic says that when the, the airflow is uh, um, wider or bigger, mm -hmm. The sound carries further. Yes. So it breaks more um, barriers of sound and carries longer. Oh, okay. And when the the, the sound is too high tone, it uh, is more easy to to disappear between uh, uh, with so air or with other with, noises. With a higher pitch, it's easier yes, to lose. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Much easier. And so when you put two holes or a bigger di diameter, you are making the, the 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 sound to have more, more body. Yes, yes. So it carries longer. Ah, okay. And I noticed that you have different whistles. You have some of stainless and some out of bone. Yeah. But for the whistles that you sell, you prefer to keep it just for the stainless ones. Yes, sell. yes. It's most much more hygienic. Mm. Uh, lasts longer. Yes. Much longer. If you don't lose, you can have a whistle for all your life. Yes. And the shape, so, the shape never changes or it never deforms or anything. Like no, that. no, no. You can pass with a with a bobcat yeah. over, over the whistle and you don't you don't break it. Okay. And they are temperate. Yeah. So it's it's, it's really hard to bend. It's, yes, yes. Uh, Benyat has made he sponsored a trial in Ireland there in the hills of Donegal, and so he's made dog collars for it. 
and also whistles for the winners. And uh, I'll just show you a look at those now. When you have, I see you put them in these bags and it's got your Dima whistle brand on it. And then the whistle, hold on, I'll just show you the whistle so you can get a good look at it. Uh, see the way he has it, there's first plate praise and uh, he's got it engraved. And on both sides, he has it on the back as well. Yeah, the engraving is very nice. How do you do that? Uh, uh, I use a laser, laser ray engraving machine. Yes. And yes. then the, uh, with the leather strap, it's all braided. Yes, yes. Oh, that's lovely. I like that a lot. And uh, and will that will it rub off or will that stay there? Or is it cut into the metal? Uh, no, no, no. Cut. Uh, what What do you mean? When you engrave it with the laser, is it cut into the metal a little bit? No, I, I I use a nice it. Yes. So acid. so yeah, that reacts react with the with the laser ray. Oh yeah. And then I can I can uh, uh, where the laser uh, ray lies. Yes. It got it got a mark. Oh. It got the mark. And then. Uh, we have these collars as well. I'll just show you this. So it's it's for the hills of Donegal, and this one is for the best dog. But it, that's the same. That's with the with the laser too. Yes, yes. yes. Ah. And will it rub off, or will it always stay there? No, no, it will stay forever. Oh, very good. It will stay. Uh, you can you can treat with with I don't know how to say. Oh, with fat or oil. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to make it waterproof. Yes, yes. Uh, and you use it in on dogs. The leather is uh, forever. Yes. Oh, super. Leather is one of the best materials in the world. Yeah. So, Benyat, everywhere I go, I see this symbol in Basque Country. Hold on for a second, I'll just take this down. It's everywhere. You take all your medals away. <laughs> so, Benyat is running world trials and stuff like that with the sheepdogs too, but everywhere you see, you see this symbol and um, it, it, there's a lot of wood carving. I've seen it in three or four places in, in Ben Yat's house already, and it's on his whistles, and it's his Dima stamp. Can you tell us what, what that means? Uh, this, this sign has a, a big, big, a lot of meanings for, uh, for, for Basque people and, and Celtic people in general. But uh, this uh, certain symbol means, uh, it, it's called Love Voodoo. Yes. That means in, in English, it would mean for the foreheads. Yes. And when it looks to the right, when you see in front, and yes. it looks to the right, this they are the, the foreheads of life. Yes. So, not life uh, would would mean like a fire, a water, and a wind. And, oh, so know? it's like the, the, yeah, the four veils of the tabernacle there. The earth, yeah. wind, yeah. and fire. And, yes. And, yeah. yes, the four elements. <laughs> well, not too so good on the four, the be, four elements. Yeah. And uh, we also use as a, as a ceremony uh, as I told you the other day, and um, when you uh, someone dies, yes. In this case, as is, uh, as this is in the in this in this position, yes, it's right this is a life. This is a life. Yes. But if you turn the if uh, you and turn it into put, put the heads, look it to the left. Yes. It would be the the uh, heads of death. Yes. The four heads of death. So you can use for a ceremony when someone dies yes. in the family, and you put uh, um, not not the same. This is a glove, but there's. Is it called Agisayola? That is a piece of wood yes. with a, with this sign on the top, yes. and another sign, another Celtic sign on the bottom, yes. with a candle all around. And you will light the candle, and you uh, pray or, or wait or think about the, the person who died, yes. while the candle is burning until it uh, lasts, and, yes. and then the ceremony stops. It was a long time ago. Now it's a sign, and it's a like a like a really lovely present. Yes. Uh, yeah. And but then you said to me also that when it's turned this way with the candle, it's for a funeral. But did you say when somebody has a baby? Yeah, when, in a newborn. Yeah. Is uh, you can you can use the same the same the same um, sculpture or figure to to uh, as a present for a newborn. So that that's the significance of this sign that we see everywhere in the Basque. It's a lucky sign for yeah. the Basque people. Yeah. <laughs> And, and tradition. So, uh, I only discovered what it is, and now we all know. We all are, are, are from uh, are Celtic, have Celtic origin. So, yes. So, uh, Irish, uh, Irish culture has a lot of signs like, uh, like Celtics that come from the, from the uh, mystic things. And a long time ago, the people believed that um, they needed some help from God or mm -hmm. from someone. Yes. And uh, for har uh, having better harvesters, 
and having rain and good crops and these kind of things. Yes. They should. Uh, they used to put this sign in the in their homes at yes. home in the in the in the main gate in the main door. Yes. So, so it the, protects the house and, and, yeah, and yeah, 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 we, kind of yeah, we have stuff like that too. Yeah. And the see, I was asking you about this. I said, what was it? This what is, is this? Yes, it's a typical Basque beret, but uh, modern modernized. It. Yeah, like. Uh, and did you? But did you tell me you wanted? I made it. I made it uh, for the Mediterranean uh, Championship. Yes. Uh, because I was joining the Spanish team, and as Spain um, uh, doesn't recognize Basque Country as a nation, uh, I wanted to add a detail as. As a, a little bit of respect I, I, for the Basque yeah, people. Yeah, because I don't feel Spanish. Yes, yes. So I don't matter to join with them, and no, no problem at all. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to people Res know that respect yeah, the yeah, history. Yeah, yeah. And and show me how you wear it. You told me it's not like you don't, you don't wear it like the French. No, no. It's, this is as uh, if you want to show the doll or something. Yes. You can put it in front, but I I like to use it. You you have to put it in your back. Yes. And then like a plate. Yes, a little bit like a shepherd's like, hat, a little bit. A little bit like for one side, something, yeah, yeah. but it's like... And what do the French fellas do when they wear a beret? They like they, have a sleep on? Uh, yeah, the French it should be like something like that, like more <laughs> bohemian or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we know what a, what a Basque beret looks like and how it's worn. Uh, and we know but about... It's a lot of places in the world that uh, use uh, berets and they don't know that they come from here. Oh yeah. In Argentina, in Uruguay, they use berets. Uh, they they had an evolution with the berets, and it's not exactly the same. Yes, but come from comes oh, from come this. from Basque. Yes, yes, yes. So the same berets. But see, you can see it's everywhere. Here's his logos here on the on the Dima whistles too. Oh, why is it called Dima? Your name's not Dima. Yeah, no, no. It's because of the town where I live. Oh, okay. where I'm from. Yeah, well, listen, uh, it's been great. I thought it was a nice um, to make the town visible for the world. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah well, you can see um, Ben Wett has a lot of respect for tradition, a lot of respect for people, and a lot of respect for, for Basque tradition in particular. So, thanks for meeting me, and thanks to you for good, coming. Good to see how your whistles are made. Thanks Thank very much.